Hey there. Remember the first time you caught a glimpse of the 80s sitcom Gimme a Break? Whether it was a laugh out loud moment or a surprising twist, this series has a knack for blending humor, shockers, and heart wrenching scenes. Now, think about it. Do you recall that initial watch, or perhaps there's a cherished memory connected to the show? We're diving into some funny, shocking, and even sad facts about Gimme a Break, so keep those eyes glued. As we unfold these moments, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to this classic TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you, so buckle up for a trip down memory lane with Gimme a Break, where every episode is packed with surprises and nostalgia. Stay tuned for more and let us know your tales. Gimme a Break, a sitcom that aired on NBC in the 1980s, is remembered as a warm and humorous addition to the network's comedy lineup of the era. Alongside other popular shows like Different Strokes, The Facts of Life, and Silver Spoons, it held its own by addressing various contemporary issues faced by modern families, including themes like teen relationships, substance abuse, and dating. The central character, portrayed by Nell Carter, brought a lively and entertaining dynamic to the show. Her notable singing and dancing abilities added an extra layer of enjoyment for viewers. The comedic delivery, characterized by a no-nonsense approach, contributed significantly to the show's appeal. In comparison, Dolph Sweet, who played the family patriarch, was perceived as less captivating. Thelma Hopkins, in the role of the best friend Addie Wilson, showcased comedic talent nearly on par with the central character, adding depth to the cast. If you have an interest in 1980s sitcoms, give me a break is worth considering for your viewing list. The show's blend of warmth, humor, and engagement with relevant issues makes it a recommendation for fans of the era's comedy offerings. So, for an enjoyable trip down sitcom memory lane, consider giving it a watch on DVD. In the fifth season's initial episode, the Chief's image slowly fades, devoid of audience applause. Spin-off considerations materialized during the show's run, yielding pilot episodes for Nell and the Kid, the Center, and the Purse Snatcher. Nell echoes damn, 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 post Carl's demise, reminiscent of Florida Evans' lamentation after James' death on Good Times a decade prior. Laura Jill Miller, addressing the scrutiny surrounding former child stars in the early 1990s, asserted her success by passing the bar in three states and maintaining a positive life. She criticized both the moral compass of child stars and the media's inclination to perpetuate a victim mentality. Despite evident tension between Nell Carter and Rosie O'Donnell during the show's production, their relationship evolved positively over time. The two reconciled when Nell made an appearance on Rosie's talk show several years later, highlighting the transient nature of on-set dynamics. A peculiar aspect of the series involved Nell and the Kaniski's black goldfish, Gertrude. Gertrude met untimely demises throughout the show, only to mysteriously reappear. This recurring theme added a touch of eccentricity to the narrative, capturing the audience's attention. These behind-the-scenes dynamics and peculiarities contribute to the show's unique legacy, showcasing the complex relationships and quirky elements that unfolded off-camera. The insights into the lives of the cast and the unconventional plot points offer a glimpse into the intriguing world that surrounded the production. Nell Carter and Dolph Sweet shared a close bond during the production of the show. When Dolph passed away in 1985, Nell stood by his side. Lori Hendler, who played Julie, revealed in interviews that although everyone knew Dolph was fatally ill for months, the news of his passing on set brought her to uncontrollable tears. At the show's inception, it was mentioned that the girl's mother had recently passed. However, by the third season, the storyline shifted. Margaret Kaniski, Carl's wife and a close friend of Nell's, was portrayed as terminally ill with lung cancer. Wanting the best for her kids, Margaret asked Nell to take on motherly duties. This narrative shift addressed concerns about depicting Nell as a black maid to a white family, offering a more nuanced perspective on her role. During the show, a genuine romance blossomed between Kari Michelson and Andy Gibb when he made a guest appearance. Nell playfully predicted their relationship, teasing her co-star about dating Andy Gibb even before he arrived on set. All this information is drawn from a reputable source, ensuring accuracy and reliability in unraveling the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show's cast and storylines. Nell Carter stood as the sole constant in every episode of the series. 
Her commitment to the show remained unwavering, even as behind-the-scenes dynamics underwent significant changes. Tensions surfaced early on between Nell Carter and the original producers Mort Latchman and Sir Rosen. By the close of season two, the strain had escalated to the point where Nell issued an ultimatum to the network, replace the producers or risk losing her return for the next season. Responding to her demand, NBC replaced Latchman and Rosen with new showrunners Rod Parker and Hal Cooper, who took charge from season three onward. Cooper and Parker, recognizing Nell's untapped potential, restructured the show to showcase her singing talents, a significant shift from the prior producer's approach. The series featured a notable guest appearance by Sammy Davis Jr., who engaged in duets with both Nell and Joey. Beyond the screen, the trio extended their collaboration, embarking on joint tours during their breaks from filming. These insights, drawn from a reliable source, peel back the layers of the show's production, revealing the pivotal role Nell played both on and off camera. The live broadcast of the episode Cat Story on March 2, 1985, marked a unique moment in the series. Airing live over NBC TV, this episode added a distinct layer to the show's production. This deviation from the usual recorded format showcased the cast's ability to perform in real time, contributing to the show's dynamic nature. Joey Lawrence, reflecting in interviews, often shared anecdotes about Nell Carter's mentorship. He recounted how she took him to concerts and various performances, fostering a connection beyond the on-screen dynamics. This glimpse into their off-screen interactions sheds light on the camaraderie within the cast. The fictional residence of Nell and the Kaniski family was situated at 2938 Wells Drive. This specific address became a recurring backdrop for the unfolding narratives. The choice of a consistent setting added a grounded element to the series, providing familiarity for the audience. These insights, drawn from reputable sources, offer a glimpse into the unique aspects of Gimme a Break. From live episodes to the off-screen relationships and the consistent backdrop of the Kaniski home, these details provide a deeper understanding of the series' dynamics and contribute to its overall narrative. Nell Carter and Rosie O'Donnell's strained relationship in the final season is well documented. Reports suggest Carter's jealousy of O'Donnell taking the spotlight led to a silent treatment on set. The two reconciled in 1997 on Rosie's talk show, marking a resolution after years of tension. John Hoyt's death in 1991 echoes a somber connection with his on-screen son's demise six years earlier. Dolph Sweet's absence in the early fourth season due to stomach surgery took a tragic turn. Upon his return, the cast noticed his alarming weight loss, eventually attributed to cancer. Sweet's passing occurred just days before the airing of Julie's birthday in 1985, a poignant moment for the show. These backstage dynamics and events, drawn from reliable sources, add depth to the series, showcasing the complexities within the cast. These insights provide a clearer understanding of the show's dynamics, shedding light on the off-screen connections and challenges faced by the cast members.